Hi guys, um, my name is Nicola, and in this video we're going to work out an example of an orthogonal projection matrix. Specifically, we're going to compute the projection matrix onto the plane given by the equation x plus y minus z equals zero. So before we start, uh, let me just recall what a projection matrix is. So you've seen um, this sketch here a million times already. Uh, a projection matrix takes any vector in three space, well, in, just in this case, we are dealing with a three space, and projects it down onto the plane, um, a two-dimensional space, subspace of, of R3. So I'm going to give you a few moments to uh, consider the problem for yourselves, and then you'll see my take on it. Hi again. OK. So in, in lecture, Professor Strang derived in meticulous detail the formula for the projection matrix. So uh, it was given by the following, well, slightly complicated expression. It's A times A transpose A inverse A transpose, where A is a matrix that somehow encodes the subspace we are projecting on. In, yeah, in particular, A is, has as its columns, A1, A2, I'm going to denote them, a basis for the plane we are projecting on. Um, so essentially what we need to do is find two such vectors that span the plane and start computing with the matrix. Um, it's, yeah, this is fairly straightforward. Uh, one, one choice that works, for example, is 1, negative 1, 0 for the first column, and 1, 0, 1 for the second column. OK? Uh, and let me write out the matrix A. OK, so in the formula, um, the, I guess the more, slightly more complicated uh, combination is A transpose A inverse. So let me compute that first for you. Uh, OK, so A transpose A is a 2 by 2 matrix. And it's not so hard to figure out that it's like 2 and 1, 1, 2. OK? Now we shall invert it. By a using the familiar formula, 1 over the determinant, 2 times 2 minus 1 is 3. And so we switch the diagonal entries, and we flip the signs of the off diagonal ones. Right. And therefore, projection matrix is given by the following uh, product of matrices. One third, two, negative one, negative one, two, and then transpose of A, which is 1, negative 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. OK. I'm going to carry out this multiplication in an inhumanly fast fashion. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to write down the answer, which is a third, 2, negative 1, 1, negative 1, 2, 2, 1, 1. Right. So what you can do now is, well, you can check whether this answer actually makes sense. One thing you can do is just, well, a projection matrix is supposed to take the normal to the plane down to zero. 
So you can just multiply p and the normal vector 1, 1, negative 1. And if you get 0, maybe you've done a good job. Um, another curious thing that I would like to point out here is, so you see we had lots of freedom of choosing the matrix A. I mean, you could have, we could have chosen any two columns that span the subspace, that spans the plane. The beautiful thing about it is that it, in the end, we'll get the same, same answer. Um, right. So I hope there will be many of you who would say, hey, there is an easier way to do the problem. And I'll agree with these people. So <laughs> let's, yeah, let's see what would be an easier approach. Well, let's go back to the sketch here, all right? And let's make the following observation that any vector is a sum of two components. One, the first component is its projection onto the plane. And the, the other component is its projection onto the orthogonal complement of the plane, in this case, onto the normal vector to the plane. So in the language of linear algebra, this is just b equals to its projection onto the plane plus its projection, I'm going to call it Pn, onto the orthogonal complement of the plane. OK, I'm going to suggestively write here the identity matrix so that you can immediately read off a matrix equality associated with this. Um, equality here, it's the identity equals P plus Pn. And therefore, the projection matrix is just the identity minus the projection matrix onto the normal vector. Now, this object here, Pn, is much easier to compute. Well, for two reasons. First one is that, well, projecting onto a one-dimensional subspace is infinitely easier than projecting onto a higher dimensional subspace. And second, um, we already have, well, immediately, we can read off from the equation of the plane what the normal vector is. So we don't have to um, derive these guys. Like, yeah, we don't have to do what we did here. Um, OK, so uh, essentially, Pn will be uh, n, n transpose n inverse, n transpose. And that's equal to uh, 1, uh, 1, negative 1. And n transpose n inverse, this is just a number. It's 1 over the magnitude of the normal vector, uh, so that's then the magnitude squared. So that's 3 and 1 times negative 1. OK? I'm going to write the answer here. It's 1 third, 1, 1 negative 1, um, 1, 1, negative 1, and negative 1, 1, 1. Right? Um, so, yeah. In order, and in order to get the projection matrix. Yes? Oh, thank you. Thank you. And in order to get a projection matrix, we just subtract from the identity this expression. And you can confirm that it's this answer. We get the same answer as here. All right, I think we're done here.